All right, proud to be a nurse. You called me out. So this is a video of my stash, my product stash. <laughs> so let's start off first things first. Here's just a brief overview so you guys can see. Yeah. So yes, quite a bit of a stash I've got going. All right. Um, let's quickly go through these. So these here are my shampoos. Now these, this, you guys are all very familiar with, my Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Shampoo. That's my moisturizing shampoo. I finished the um, Avalon Clarifying Shampoo, so I'm using this now, the Avalon Organics Biotin Complex um, Strength Thick complex thickening shampoo. Um, I didn't get it as um, for clarifying so to speak but it makes my hair feel the same way as the clarifying shampoo so that's what I'm gonna use it as. And then I have this neutralizing ISO plus shampoo and um, this is what I use when I've colored my hair after I've colored it to shampoo out the color and make sure I know I've gotten all the um, excess chemicals out and then when my hair is colored and um, when I do a like when I'm doing my whole cellophane treatment and stuff um, I use this shampoo and this is the watercolors color maintenance shampoo crimson splash and it enhances cool red tones in dark hair let me yeah there you go I never reviewed this I don't think um, maybe if I sit it down yeah so those are my shampoos so those are when the color is happening and yeah on the these two are the more regular basis for now um, then on to the conditioners. Now, um, you guys are all familiar with the Afoji, um, Keratin 2-Minute Reconstructor. I do that every other week, and, um, that's my protein. This, um, is the, I haven't done a review on this, and I will, um, the Trader Joe's Balanced Moisturizing Nourish Spa Conditioner. And so far I like it, but I'll go into more detail of that. Um, then this, once again, this is my, when my hair is colored and I'm doing a cellophane treatment. I actually mix this, because this is a conditioner, but I didn't find it to be that great at conditioning my hair. What I did like is it has color and it deposits color. And so this is riveting red. So I mix that with my cellophane treatment, the Sebastian cellophane treatment, which is a kind of light protein treatment, but it's more to retain my color. So I'll put these together and that way I don't use so much of this product. And so yeah, when I'm doing the cellophane treatment, it's like this shampoo, this together, and then afterwards I'll do a deep condition because um, none of those things are exactly moisturizing. And what I got, I did add to the, I have not tried this yet. This is a new product for me and this is ASEAN. Oh, sorry guys, I'm holding the, I'm not used to holding the camera while I videotape. ASEAN Hydrating Elation and um, it's supposed to, it's an intensive conditioner so I'm thinking that'll be good when I do that whole cellophane thing or um, to mix with my protein because while this conditioner, uh, while the Trader Joe's conditioner is all right, um, I don't think once my hair is color treated it's going to be conditioning enough as much as the tea tree tingle was so that's why I got this. Now on to my living leave-ins. This is my spritz and um, put an asterisk to this because I'm going to explain this later. This is the one I make. Um, but this is the Shea Moisture Curl and Style Milk that I'll put in my hair either after I've shampooed it or after I've rinsed it. You guys should be familiar with my Earthbalism oils and these are what I use as my sealants. Currently what I'm using is my sealants. Um, and the leave-in conditioner I'll put in after I shampoo or when my hair, or the spritz, my spritz, um, after I shampoo and then put the curl and style milk or um, if my hair just needs a pick me up and I haven't rinsed it or shampooed it. And then I got these two new products. <laughs> yeah, product junkieism alert. Um, 
And the reason, this is the, from that same ASEAN brand, and this is their leave-in conditioner. Now, I've, now I've never tried these products, so this is gonna be new for me. This is their leave-in conditioner, and um, what do I, the reason I bought this is because I'm almost running out of this, so um, I figured try something new. And then this is the their Coco Shea Spray, and I got this because it was all part of a deal at Sally's. If you buy one, two, you get one free, so I just was like, what the hell. I don't necessarily need this. I might start using this in place of my spritz just to see how it is, but yeah, it's their Coco Shea Spray Moisturizer. I'll see how that goes. And there's actually, I haven't opened it yet. I'm just going to pan over. You see that box over there? That's some shampoo and conditioner that got sent to me to review. So I didn't get, so I don't, I don't count that as being part of my stash because that got sent to me. And I'll talk about that later once I start. I'll start using them um, after I color my hair um, and put that in my rotation on a consistent basis and come back with a review for you guys. But now back to what this is. So in order to make this, this is predominantly my base, aloe vera um, juice. And this whole one gallon I got at Trader Joe's for $7.99 and it's organic and it's pure aloe vera juice. I love it. So that's pretty much the base for my spritzes. Sometimes I'll cut it with distilled water. Um, remember that, not tap water, distilled water. But um, there, and then I'll mix in a little bit of vegetable glycerin. And then currently, these are the oils, like my carrier oils. Well, actually, I have, no, well, hold on. My carrier oils, per se, is the wheat, was my jojoba oil, wheat germ oil, and um, I don't use the argan oil so much as a carrier oil because argan oil is pricier and but I do love argan oil you guys know that and um, so I do put that in a bit in my spritz I'll mix and match I'm kind of short on my oils this is not an honest representation because usually I'll also have sweet almond oil which is actually my favorite oil to use in my spritzer sweet almond oil and I'm missing my coconut oil which is in the kitchen and I didn't feel like getting it and yeah sweet almond oil either jojoba oil. I'm trying to think if there's another oil I'm missing. But those are the ones. This is all hair. I have more oils, but those that's that would be skincare. Um, and then up here, these are kind of like the, these two oils are, um, in case I don't like the scent of my spritzer, these are fragrance oils, orange spice and jasmine. I love those. So just in case I don't like the smell of my spritzer or what I've concocted, because it's a different combo every time, um, I'll I'll um, even out the fragrance with that. And then the essential oils that I tend to use, that's not an essential oil, are usually um, rosemary, clary sage. This is some more rosemary oil here. And then over here I have vitamin E oil, which I use more as a preservative, for its preservative, um, and grapefruit seed extract to kind of preserve my spritz. As you can see, I don't make big batches of this just because I don't preserve it at all. And oh, I am missing something. Sorry guys, we're going to follow me in my office. I knew I was like, my stash is seeming pretty, excuse the clutter. Um, see, this is the rest of just my stuff, but that's more skincare. Um, here's some nettle powder leaf that I use in sometimes in, no, that's Fuller's Earth, so that's my clays. Um, horsetail powder, and um, I have the leaves of them, because sometimes what I'll do is I'll brew the leaves. Here's some slippery elm bark. For those of you who really love um, Not Today, um, Not Today um, by Curly Kinky, whatever that line is called, you know what I'm talking about, you can get it at Target. Let me just tell you, if you wanna play around, um, Slippery Elm Bark and Marshmallow, I can't find it, maybe I used it all up, but um, this is Nettle Leaf and this is Horsetail. So I'll brew these sometimes um, in distilled water, brew them, strain it, and then leave that as a base for my spritz. I'm trying to find the marshmallow powder. 
but I can't find it. So, but it's marshmallow root powder or something of the sort and slippery elm bark. Those are two of the um, major ingredients in that um, kinky curly knot today. So if you want to play around and see if you can create your own living, um, I would guide you there. And then I would guess, now I'm just guessing, I would say, I would guess once you've done that, maybe mixing it with some aloe vera gel. But yeah, guys, so this is my stash. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Comment or send me a message. Bye! I forgot to add to my stash. Sorry, guys. This, um that I just received, my brother came back from um, Sierra Leone and the Gambia, and what you're seeing here is Langalang. It smells so good. I'm so excited to start using these. Um, so it's the leaves, I've dried them, and I'm probably gonna brew them, but I might brew them in an oil because I want these to last longer, so I need to get a big batch of carry oil. So I just wanted to show you, because, oh, so excited. Love a Langalang, and yeah. So that's it. So once again, the stash. Have a good day. Bye.